Alaska Department of Fish and Game Division of Sport Fish. In today's video, we're going to tie four different types of fishing knots. Two of those types of fishing knots we can use to tie our line to either a hook, a fly, a swivel, or a lure. The other two types of knots we're going to show you uh, would be knots that you would use to, to attach together two different types of fishing line, whether it be fluorocarbon to braided line, or fluorocarbon to fluorocarbon line, or mono to mono. Uh, we're going to get started here by showing you the improved clinch knot. The improved clinch knot can be used to tie uh, your monofilament or your fluorocarbon line to a single hook like I have here, fly, lure, uh, swivel, what have you. It's a relatively easy knot to tie. And so we're going to start by taking a small section uh, of our uh, running line here. In this case, I'm using a 20 pound test monofilament in the color orange just to simply show the contrast between the line and the table. And we're going to take that tag in and we're going to run it through the eye of the hook. Okay, we're going to create about a six inch tag in here. We're going to simply pinch with our thumb and forefinger on our left hand um, the small section of the running line and the tag in as you can see here. So I'm basically doubled that line back over on itself and I'm maintaining control of the line using my thumb and forefinger here on my left hand. I'm going to take this tag in and simply run it over the running line. We're going to run it over the line four or five times and what we're left with is we've got a small loop created here above a twist and we've got our tag in right here. Now I'm going to take that tag in and I'm going to run it through that open loop and when I do that you'll see that there's another loop here that's been created. So in or, and what we're going to do then is we're going to take that tag in and also run it through that second open loop. So what we're left with looks something like this. Alright now at this stage we're going to still maintain control of the tag in with our uh, thumb and forefinger on our, on our left hand and I'm going to use my right hand to pull on my running line slightly. Okay, I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to cinch that knot down quite yet. At this stage, I'm going to add a little bit of moisture to this hook to reduce friction. Now, I've got a bucket of water here and I'm simply just going to take my thumb and forefinger and rub a little bit of water on that. Um, some folks will uh, use, put this knot in, in their mouth and run it over their tongue just to get, to get a little wet or they can just dip it in the water in front of them if they're close. Once we reach that point, we're simply going to pull on the running line, okay, and we're going to cinch this down. And there we have it, that's the improved clinch knot. Again, with a little bit of practice, if you're unfamiliar with tying this knot, you can get it down and it's a really strong knot that you can be used in a number of different types of fishing applications. In order to tie the polymer knot, what we're going to do first is we're going to double we're going to take about a six or seven inch section here of our monofilament line and double it back over itself. And I've created, I've just doubled it over on itself and I've created this loop right here. All right, so using my right hand, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pinch down toward the end of that line there and I'm going to get a small loop right there. All right, then I'm going to take that loop and I'm going to run it through the eye of the hook. Okay, so you can see here I've got a loop, the line doubled over on itself, I've got my tag in and I've got my running line. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm simply going to take this doubled over loop here and I'm going to bring it out. So I've got a larger section of the doubled over line here and a smaller section where the tag in is adjacent to the running line. All I'm going to do is make an overhand knot. With this, using this double over section of line, I'm simply going to do an overhand knot and slightly tighten down. All right. So at this point, I've got my tag in with my running line up here. I've got a loop that's, the, that's been created by running the doubled over line through the eye of the hook. And I've got this section here. What we're going to do in this section here is we're going to take the hook itself and we're going to run that just right through that open loop. And I've grabbed the running line with the tag end section in my right hand, thumb and forefinger right here. And I'm simply going to just pull it down a little bit 
until it starts to tighten on itself. Now at this point, it's also important to add a little bit of moisture to this to reduce friction. So again, I've got a cup of water here. I'm just going to add a little water to my knot. Again, some folks will put that, uh, just run it over their tongue or put it in the water in front of them. Um, after you've done that, simply take your, your tag in and your running line and in tandem, just pull it down and tighten that knot up. Make sure that your line cinches up together. You don't want it to, it to get caught up right there. So if it does, just use your fingernail and pull it together. At this point we've completed the polymer knot. The polymer knot is a very strong knot that can be used when working with fluorocarbon or monofilament. And it's, an also, it's also a very strong knot uh, to use when working with braided line. Alright, with the surgeon's knot we're going to allow the orange line here to act as the line that would go to my, my fishing rod. The clear fluorocarbon line is going to be uh, an example of the leader section that we're going to attach to the line coming from our rod. So as you can see here, I've taken about an eight inch section here of my uh, orange monofilament line. And what I've done is I've taken about the same distance, same section of uh, the clear fluorocarbon line, and I'm gonna just put them on top of each other. Okay, I'm gonna pinch uh, these lines using my uh, uh, thumb and forefinger on both hands and I'm simply going to turn them to where I get a loop that looks like this. This is a simple knot to tie that simply involves three overhand turns. So what we're going to do is grab both the tag end from our uh, running line as well as the entire section of our leader and we're going to pinch them together and we're simply going to run these through that loop three times. Okay, it's important that you run each section of line together. Don't let one sneak out there without getting tied in. So when you're done there, you've got a tag end over here on this side. This is the, again, the leader material. And you've got a tag end on this side, which is the running line. And you've got a big loop here. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to simply slowly pull on those to add a little bit of tension. Now at this point, as with the other knots that we've tied, we're simply going to take a little bit of water on our fingers, uh, wet that knot a little bit. Uh, you can also put this knot in your mouth, run it over your tongue to add a little bit of moisture. Um, once we've added some moisture, we're simply going to pull um, both sections, holding both tag ends in our, in our hands, pull it until it looks generally like that, and then you can let it go, and then without any pressure on those tag ends, you're going to grab your running line with your leader line and simply tighten that knot up to where it's good and snug. Um, if you are using braided line going to a fluorocarbon line, it's recommended that you use upwards of six overhand turns through that open loop to connect these. Um, again, this is a very strong knot uh, and, and uh, should do you well in all in, in your fishing applications. All right, so for the double uni knot, we're going to incorporate the use of braid line, and we're actually going to be going to a monofilament leader. This can also be done with going from braided line to fluorocarbon line, but for demonstration purposes, we're continuing on with this 20 pound uh, monofilament. So again, this braided line is a line that's running to my rod, and this section here is going to represent the leader that I'm attaching to the line that's going to my rod. So we're going to take our left hand here, using our thumb and forefinger, we're going to try to gain access to this tag end here from the line that runs to our rod. We're simply going to make a loop. All right, so you can see here, I've got a loop, my tag end runs up. I'm going to take that tag end and I'm going to run it four or five times through the open loop and I want to make sure that it grabs that, that leader line, that orange line, while it's doing that. All right, so after running it through four, five, six times, however many it is, go ahead and take that tag in and secure using your left hand, thumb and forefinger, 
just pull on that in unison a little bit until it starts to tighten up. You don't want to pull it too tight. You want to just kind of get it there secure so where it doesn't unravel upon itself. So again, I've got a small tag end coming over here. This is my leader line. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take and make another loop using my leader line. Alright, so same process as before. I've got the line that goes to my rod. I've just simply made a loop. I've got a tag end here. I'm going to run that over that running line four or five times, making sure that those wraps are good and tight. After I've done that, I'm simply going to maintain control of the tag end and just pull it slightly, okay? Now again with this, you don't want to get too much friction in there without adding a little bit of moisture. So I've got my bucket of water here and I've simply just added a little bit of water to that. Uh, again, to tighten this, you can tighten it by pulling on the tag end. There's a little bit of a curve there, a learning curve there where you got to kind of um, work both lines in unison, all right? So right now, what you see here is I've got the beginning of two strong knots here. However, I'm not going to control the tag ends of either the running line or the leader line anymore. I'm going to grab the running line in my left hand and the leader line in my right hand, and I'm simply going to pull away from each other, pull on each line so that they're moving away from each other, and you're going to watch those knots walk closer and closer to each other. Okay. Now, once you get to this point right here, you can see you want to just take a quick peek at your knots, make sure everything's good and tight. And if you like what you see, go ahead and pull on those sections and tighten them up. All right. You can come in here and pull on your tag ends a little bit, to make sure everything's good and tight. And that's your W uni knot. Please feel free to leave a comment below, and we we'll hope to see you on the water. Good luck fishing. Mm -hmm.